Hey everyone, I know it's been a while since I posted a video. We've been pretty busy with some life things happening, but this week's video I'm going to be sharing a bulk haul from some Amish grocery stores and just how cheap they are compared to buying the same or similar products at places like Walmart, BJ's, Sam's Club, Aldi, or even your local market. Stay tuned! Hello everyone, it is Corey from This and That and we just got back from a family vacation visiting some family down in Virginia and we also love to go to Pennsylvania. Last year I tried out going to a couple of Amish bulk grocery stores. I didn't know about these. I learned about them through YouTube from other people doing bulk hauls and learning how to reduce my own grocery bills. So last year when we were going in the late fall to visit some family, we stopped on the way down and I hit two different grocery stores, uh, bulk stores that are run by the Amish. And I was amazed by the prices and what you could get. I was kind of blown away. I didn't want to go nuts. So the last time I actually shared the video on my channel, I did a small haul with getting some flowers and a few other things. And this time around, I had a list. I hit about three more places that we had not been to before. And I've got a new favorite. So it's added onto my list for when we go in August. And I'm going to share another haul from the Amish bulk grocery stores. So this is a view of our haul. The only thing missing from here is some soap that my husband had already opened. But this is, and there's also two boxes of Annie's crackers that we've already finished and one bag of Swedish fish because we were enjoying them on the way down to Virginia. So what you're looking at right now cost us $144. And I look at how much food is here and I look at how much stuff like this would have cost me elsewhere. And I'm just blown away, especially when I started looking online at what some of these items would cost me per pound buying them from Walmart or BJ's or Costco, Sam's Club, Aldi, any of these places, and you just can't beat some of these prices. Some things are similar price, so you do have to keep an eye out. You have to know what the prices are, but I did some price comparisons and I had some ideas of what I wanted to spend. So I'm going to go through some of the things. Not everything is food. Um, I did get a cookbook that I've been looking for for a while that is always about $10 to $15 more online. And I was able to buy it in store. And I also got some canning lids because they were uh, $1 to $2 cheaper a package than buying them online or at Walmart. And I do can so I wanted to make sure I grabbed those. I didn't need the jars. The jars were about the same price as Walmart so I didn't grab any of those. We really didn't have the space in the truck anyway. One of the biggest things is I bought a lot more flour. I went through the flour that I got except for the whole wheat which is currently in my freezer and I bought a bunch more flour. I really wanted cake flour and it was so expensive online. Just a really small bag was 20 to 26 dollars and I was blown away that at the two places that I got it from, it was 51 cents a pound and 59 cents a pound. So one of the places I bought every single little bag they had, which was all of these, and it's about a little over 10 pounds, around 11 pounds there. And look at the prices of the bags, $1.23, $1.22. Uh, I'm planning to make a lot of cakes and things from scratch. I'm going to be doing my own cake mixes instead of buying boxed. And this is a great way to be able to do this. Um, I did buy two larger bags too. These are both around five pounds a piece. So I'm looking forward to using this cake flour for making cakes and cupcakes and things like that. One of the other thing is I'm trying to get a little bit healthier flour. The organic is just really expensive. I had bought some Sam's Club flour in another video that I shared from a Sam's Club bulk haul. And we're going to use that up and then I'm going to be using a lot more healthier flour. So I went with the King Arthur flour and I was going to buy a bag of flour, a 12 pound bag of flour at 
my local BJ's and they wanted, I think it was $12 or nine, $10, or $10 for a 12 pound bag. This is almost a 12 pound bag here and I've got it for $6.26. So I definitely am going to try to get my flour from the Amish grocer each time I go because that was so much cheaper. I also got a smaller bag, five pound bag of um, a high gluten flour. A lot of the recipes in this cookbook and several other cookbooks that I have with cooking from scratch, they have you using high gluten flour in bulky rolls or regular rolls. So I wanted to give that a try. So I got some of that. I also got some Thermoflow for doing some of my canning when I'm doing my apple pie fillings and things like that. Another thing I wanted to tr try was arrowroot powder. I, you know, I try to try different alternatives instead of cornstarch, so I figured I'd give this a try. It's a small package. It's a little on the expensive side, but this was pretty much about the same price at several of the other Amish stores that we went to, so I ended up going with this one, and we'll give it a try. Like I said, I got this cookbook, which I was really excited for. I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds of recipes in this book, and... I've already started making little check marks next to ones I want to try. I can't wait. Another really big thing for me was cheese. I wasn't able to find cheddar cheese in a block this size for a price I was happy with, but I was really, really happy to get the mozzarella cheese. This was $2.59 a pound, and usually I buy 8-ounce blocks of mozzarella cheese, and I shred them myself, and I get those from Aldi. So if you add two together to get a pound, since they're 8 ounces a piece, it's $4 for a pound. So this is almost half of that. So I'm really excited to try this cheese out and shred this and freeze this. I mean, this is going to last us quite a while because... This is a uh, over five pound, almost six pound block of cheese. My husband wanted to grab these for a snack in the car. They're delicious, but we only eat a little at a time. So we've got those. Another thing we've been doing a lot of is making our own oatmeal. And I've been making my own granola bars. So instead of buying the little packets of oatmeal, we've been making our own with brown sugar, cinnamon, apple pie spice and it's been delicious and there's a lot less junk in it than buying the little packets and it's so much cheaper so i bought one thing at the one of the first stores we went to it was a little bit more on the pricey side because they were a dollar ten a pound but i bought a small bag of non-gmo quick oats and then at another whole bulk food store i got a six and a half pound bag and it was 75 cents a pound so just under five dollars for this huge bag so this will last us quite a while some of this will just be portioned out into mylar bags because i don't want it going bad and this will last us probably a year or more also bought two good sized bags of rolled oats uh, these were 78 cents a pound and each of these was over three pounds almost three and a half pounds you know, 264, 270, and I looked at similar prices with Walmart, and you it's like half price for this sort of stuff compared to buying, you know, Quaker Oats, even some of the Walmart brands. I also wanted to buy more spices because in the fall I'm planning on doing my own spaghetti sauces and pasta sauces with tomatoes from my garden. I'm going to be doing some Amish paste tomatoes this year. So I decided to get extra bags of I've got some oregano and I also got a big bag of Italian seasoning and then I had started with these smaller ones and ended up going back to get the larger bags because I do a lot of stuff with oregano and Italian seasoning so it made sense. I got some dill seed and dill weed for different recipes especially things with ranch because I'm going to be making a lot of my own mixes. And I'm not going to be buying, you know, packets or salad dressings and things like that. I'm going to just be making my own. And so I needed some of these things for those mixes and dressings. I also got a whole thing of peppercorns because I use these for doing bone broth quite frequently. These were marked down. I believe they were going to be getting rid of them. They were $1.69 a piece. There were six boxes, but we've eaten two of them between vacation and coming home. And these are good until August of this year. So I think they were just moving them out. And we love those. It's just a snack for once in a while because it is hard to bake absolutely everything. So 
at least they're organic. We just tried not to eat too much of it. Swedish fish, same thing. We had gotten two bags. This is what's left. Same thing. A treat. We don't normally eat a lot of candy in our house, but every once in a while you do have to live a little bit. Here's the lids that I got. I've always used ball, and so I was excited that these were $3.99 compared to $4.99 at Walmart. So it's a dollar piece of box that I'm saving. These I've never tried before, but I heard a lot of great things about them. And these were like five and six dollars online for 12 lids, and these were $3.69. So it was like eleven something a piece. For the, all these boxes uh, each, 11 and 11, so 20, 22, 23 dollars for all these lids that will last for quite a while. So I was pretty happy about getting those. I got a good container, a good size container of um, apple pie spice. I wish they had one just a little bit bigger, but this was fine. I'm going to see how long it lasts us before I buy more because I do still have some at home, and that'll be for our oatmeals in the morning. I also decided to buy a couple of different extracts. I've already got things like peppermint and um, vanilla. I'm actually going to be starting to make my own vanilla extract. So I wanted to grab a few other ones. There's several recipes I've seen that have maple flavored. So I grabbed two different brands of maple flavored extract. I grabbed root beer extract because I love root beer. I'd love to try to make my own. There was a chocolate flavor and orange flavor. I figured those would be handy for baking for cookies or things like that. And that's what I've got. So a pretty good amount of groceries. And like I said, uh, if I look at some of these things and add how much it would cost per pound at regular retailers, this grocery order would have been well over $300 instead of $144. So we are very pleased with what we got and we'll see how quickly or slowly we go through some of these things. And um, probably next time I'll grab some more pasta because by the time we go again in August. We'll definitely be out of the pasta we got in November. And we'll probably try a few other things. I didn't really get a lot of uh, sprinkles and things like that because I try to avoid putting that kind of stuff on our food if I can help it. I try to make my own frostings and such. So we tried not to get too much with candies and things like that. But overall, really, really pleased with what we got. And um, it's really worth it if you have Amish grocers around you. If you travel, keep an eye out for where you're going. Places like New York, Pennsylvania, especially out in the Midwest, places like Indiana and Ohio, places like that. It's really worth it to look up these stores, make a list for yourself of things that you'd like to price check or possibly purchase, bring a cooler with you and lots of ice packs because you never know what you might get. We did not buy too much cold stuff because we just didn't have the room, but the cheese was definitely a priority, so that's why we grabbed that. And maybe the next time around when we go in August, we definitely have more space because we're in a different vehicle, and I may bring, buy even more cold stuff. So we don't know, but this was a start, and um, make be sure to check out any Amish bulk food stores around you or Mennonite food stores around you because you can really save a lot of money buying from these places. So hopefully you enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, stay safe and be well.